Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green. I'm the manager of the AFC Wimbledon Wimbley Wombleys who play in England, hence the rain. Uh, today we're taking on Wigan Athletic, former Premier League side, and also former home of Dicko. Dicko was a Wiganite before he was a Wimbley Wombley, and um, it's going to be a beautiful homecoming. Let's hope that it's a productive one uh, and a goal happy one. John Green still injured, out for five weeks, five long weeks here at the end of the season. Not an easy, not an easy time to lose him, but Life is hard and full of disappointments, my friends. Today I'm going to find out who my nemesis should be. Uh, I don't know if it's like historical figures, current people. It's just a nemesis. I've always wanted a nemesis. Do you have a nemesis, Meredith? What about that, uh, can I be specific? What about the, uh, that ex-boyfriend? Well, by the way, we're in fifth, where we belong. Um, 69 points. <laughs> she said that was inadequately specific. Um, or didn't, wasn't there like a roommate to the ex-boyfriend? Isn't she your nemesis, kind of? So you, ha you do have a nemesis. I had a nemesis for a while. It was the, uh, the, the guy that my college girlfriend left me for and then married. But now they have like five kids together. Um, you know, as you do when you get married. And don't get a vasectomy. I don't know. I don't know how, that, I don't know how you get to five. Five seems like a lot. Um, but God, I, I, think, I think that's great. Um, Anyway, point being, uh, I am very, I am genuinely, look at Dicko. He knows he's playing against Wigan, and he is excited to go. Dicko on the move to Deeney. No, Deeney. Deeney's had a difficult few months. He started out such a special player, Deeney, and um, he's really let his, his party and get to him, and that's frustrating to me. Uh, we've had several talks about it where I'm just like, think of, the, think of how great you could be. Um, and he's, you know, it's, sometimes it seems like he's listening, and then sometimes it really just seems like he's not. So, um, anyway, I'm going to find out who my nemesis is. So, yeah, it used to be that guy, but then the more I thought about it, the more I thought, like, I don't know. Like, why? It's, that guy's actually pretty great. Like, that's why she married him, you know? Like, I liked this girl, um, and, I, 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 and I still, obviously, like, still think of her highly. And, like, the whole reason she married that guy is because he's cool. Um, so, I don't know. It's kind of ridiculous to have someone who's awesome as your nemesis. You need to have someone who's super, you know, super bad. I don't really know enough bad people. Anyway, so I'm going to find out who my nemesis is. Meredith, what's my first question? My dream holiday? The beach. Just me at the beach with my wife. Just maybe our kids, but reasonably good babysitting. Just hanging out at the beach. Oh, that should have been a goal. Should have been a goal. Can there be a cruise? <laughs> no. <laughs> there cannot be a cruise involved. The cruise is the opposite of my dream vacation because of the norovirus, which is one of my biggest fears. Um, I've had the norovirus, uh, and I vomited for about 24 hours straight. Deeny, 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 Deeny. God, the guy cannot finish. I don't know if it's my fault or his. Maybe I'm hitting the B button wrong when he has the ball. I don't know. It's difficult. It's difficult top level against these good teams. And the Wigan's a very good club. Oh, God. Oh, Seb Brown saved two penalties against Luton Town to send us into this, the league and then saved two penalties against Manchester City to give us the FA Cup and then saves an amazing one-on-one -on -one shot against Wigan Athletic. Beautiful stuff. And then Deeney passes to literally no one. The golden child was trying to catch up to that, but... It's not what he's famous for. Meredith, what's my next question? What is my greatest skill? Um, that's personal. No. Uh, my greatest skill. I don't know. Probably. What do you think? You know me. Writing. Just being incredibly friendly. Incredibly supportive boss. I don't know. I've got so many skills. Um, I don't know. Video blogging. Computers and technology, yeah, good one, good pick. And spying, yeah, I'd be a good spy. I can't keep a secret to save my life, but I, that's not an issue, is it? This, by the way, is an excellent save by Seb. I mean, just saw it at the last second, got his hand out. Good stuff, Seb. I love you, buddy. He just wanted a raise, and I gave it to him because he's just he's a good man. He deserves it. Oh, that's, I was cheating, but Seb Brown took care of it. It's fine. It's fine. To the golden child, please. Yes. Yes. Now forward. Forward. Yes. Sideways. 
Yes, no. Um, it's always that last pass that gets us. Goal! The goal is open! Oh! That would have been amazing. All right, what's my next question? Pick a weapon. Um, can it be the weapon of love? Is there, is, how about the pen being mightier than the sword? What are my options? Teddy bear? Those knuckle things? You mean brass knuckles? Yeah. Um, or nunchucks. I can't tell with you. Like, I think you might honestly think that those knuckle, that, that nunchucks are, nu are things that you put on your knuckles. Um, there's a knife. I'm not huge on knives. A wrench? But I'm telling you, my, my nemesis is going to be a very... I'm not looking for, like, a violent c encounter with my nemesis. I thought this was all fun in games. I have to punch my nemesis? Um, is there a gun? You can't tell if it's a gun? Merit doesn't know what a gun looks like. Can I see a picture of it to confirm that it's a gun? Uh, I mean, to be fair, that doesn't look that much like a gun. But I'm going to go with that one because it looks like a space, in, space ray. Um... By the way, it's nil-nil because Deanie can't finish. And, uh, it, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know what to do. I might bring on John Green here very shortly. In fact, well, I don't want to hurt Deanie's feelings by subbing him off at halftime. These are very fragile people, uh, the pixels who make up the Wimbly Womblies. So you don't want to, uh, you don't want to hurt them um, because you need them. And because, they're, you know, they matter. Oh, the golden child. Almost with the right cross. Almost found it. All right, Meredith, what's next? Where would I most like to vanquish my nemesis? Um, what are my options? Behind a playground? No, that's creepy. At a family reunion? No. No, I mean, I don't know. That seems excessively public. On a red carpet. Yeah, that sounds fun. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I, I liked how I thought the family reunion was too public, but the red carpet seems reasonable to me. Uh, Dicko should have done a little bit better there, but, but life is hard and full of disappointments. We have to win this game. This, this business of getting one point per game is just infuriating to me. At this point, a, a tie is as good as a loss because we're going to qualify for the, for the playoffs, so the only, thing we, the only place we really have to go is up. Well, now that I've said that, I'm nervous that we aren't going to qualify for the playoffs. All right. Um, yeah, I'm going to say red carpet. Uh, Dini frustrated, tired, and coming off. That was the last straw. Seeing him like that, he just seemed distracted and not that involved in the game, and he's not going to be playing anymore. Instead, we're going to have John Green coming on, as well as uh, Yabamba coming on for the Golden Child. He's playing out of position, which possibly explains why he's been playing not so well. And um, I think I might bring off Les Moore and bring on Kaz. Now, you guys, no, you're right. I should bring on Maresca. Um, give Maresca one more chance to prove his, his worth. So we're making three substitutions all at once in the 54th minute. Hope we don't get any injuries. But I don't like seeing Dini like that. He seems distracted and hungover, and he doesn't seem like a player who can score a goal today. And we need players who can score goals today. And I'm going to show the home fans that we are not kidding around when it comes to winning this game. Three substitutions, just like they made. Uh, in the John Stones paint trophy immediately before beating the franchise in one of the greatest victories in Wimbledon history. All right. Pass. Good pass. Meredith, what's my next question? Pick a drink? Uh, like alcoholic? Um, boy, I, uh, old-fashioned? Do I have to pick like a cocktail? Or can I pick beer or wine? Um, I'd pick white wine. Is white wine an option? Because I don't want red wine. Champagne, yes. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Not even a difficult decision once I know champagne's on the, on the menu. Get there. My origin story? Um, well, I was, I was born... Um, wh wh what do you mean? What are my options? Give me city, suburbia, uh, countryside. I'd say suburbia. Um, I'm a child of I'm a child of the American suburbs, the post-war. Yeah, here's Maresca. Maresca. Oh, that was to the right guy. Maresca had the right idea, just didn't come off. As as good ideas often don't, I find. And then, oh boy, this is a little frustrating. We've got to we've have to win this game. We just need a goal. We just need a goal from somewhere, from someone. 
was not good by H. Walter White. He really overran that. He's trying to get back. He can't get back. This is scary stuff. He finally gets back. Is it not going to be enough? Oh, it's enough. All right. Uh, yeah, Suburbia. Next. Which Harry Potter character do I secretly hate? Snape? Mm, who's on there? Look at this run from Callum Kennedy. Look at this run from Callum Kennedy! Oh, that was beautiful, though, Callum. God, he's a good player. He's a good player. Big heart. Big heart. Original w Wimbly Wombly. Not, not, great on, not great on the skills, but just relentless. Relentless in pushing forward as a fullback. Um, everything worked out better than expected. Who's Ginny Weasley? No, I don't hate Ginny Weasley. Ron? Hagrid? These are all lovely people. Who? Eh, eh, eh. James Potter's on the list? Yeah, I'm not a huge James Potter fan. I think James Potter's overrated. James Potter. But I don't secretly hate him. I think that's far too strong a language. What bothers me the most in, in life? <sighs> Boy, playing it out from the back. Um, I don't know. What are the options? So many things bother me, Meredith. You know me. I'm kind of a... Kind of a ah! Just a burger! Come on, dicko. Break the heart of your old team. Baby's crying on planes. That doesn't bother me at all. It bothers me. I feel bad for the parents. Bullies, yes. Bullies bother me. When people call actors a national treasure, that bothers the hell out of me. But I think bullies bother me slightly more. Bullies, bully, yeah, I mean, I don't, I, I feel bad for bullies too, though. You know, the only people I don't feel bad for are the people who call actors national treasures. I don't feel bad for them at all, actually. Oh, Dicko! Fouled from behind! No question about it. It was a fat, what? Why did we bring it back all that way? Whatever. I'm just going to keep playing. I'm not going to worry too much about the strangeness, the eccentricities of this game. Come on, buddy. Come on, you bomba. God, you bomba. He's just, he's just not, not pacey enough for this level of football, which is a shame because he was such, he was always such a hero, and he can still finish, which to me is worth its weight in gold. Um, I love a finisher. That was a great job by Maresca getting to the ball. Pass. Oh, come on, John Green. Oh, he's upset because of his husband's broken metatarsal bone, and he can't focus, and it's frustrating to watch. I think we all feel annoyed and frustrated right now. Um, Meredith, how many more questions do I have? Because we're in the 90th minute. What? Give it to me. You okay, hon? Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, I, I'm going to say yes. Yes to that. My nemesis is Bill Murray. Bill Murray's my favorite person. I, I love Bill Murray. This is terrible. I don't even know how to move on. I don't hate Bill Murray. Who hates Bill Murray? Who hates Bill Murray? You know, Bill Murray doesn't have an agent. He just has a 1-800 number that you call. And when they, uh, I mean, they literally, they, they called his 1-800 number about uh, Fault in Our Stars. There's no agent. You have to literally call him. You leave a message, and if he's interested, he calls you back. It's true if you're the head of Sony Studio or if you're just some guy on the street. Anyway... Frickin' draw again. Ugh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for Dicko, too, because Dicko deserved a score in that game. Thank you for watching. Best wishes.